Well, hello there, and happy Halloween. As you can see, we're all decked out for the holiday season. We got a sign that says boo. Of course, the Hollywood Tower Hotel sign is still the same from last time. Got some, some fabric back here. Yeah, it looks cool with the lighting. I got a skull so I can, you know, do my Hamlet thing and do questions to be or not to be, the heck if I know. And, uh, of course, a lovely pumpkin back here, which we'll talk about more in just a little bit. But as you can see, you know, Halloween's a fun season. Candy, movies, uh, debauchery, you know, all the great things that make this holiday great. And especially, you know, being able to express yourself in artistic ways. Costumes, uh, carving pumpkins, in fact, um, the set's actually not complete yet. Speaking about that pumpkin, I haven't carved anything into it yet. And um, I don't remember if I've ever carved a pumpkin or it's been a heck of a long time since I carved one. But um, yeah, we gotta finish the set by carving that pumpkin. So let's uh, roll that intro. So like I said, it's been quite a while since I've carved a pumpkin or pff, I've never carved a pumpkin in my life. I don't remember which one. Either way, I wasn't the one who actually carved it. I just kind of put like a tracer on it and then the other guy carved it. Because, you know, sharp tools and knives and children shouldn't be running around with those things. But, you know, now I can buy my own sharp things to carve said pumpkin. Um, yeah, so let's get started, shall we? I'm not going to carve it in here. Let's go somewhere else. But I do need to grab the pumpkin. So, I'll see you on the other side. Okay. This would be a better spot to carve the said pumpkin for the display so I haven't done this in forever or in a while so uh, let's get started shall we oh I should probably cut the top off first so I can actually put the light in you got a little pumpkin light too so let's start with that all right so the first thing I should probably do is um, remove the top So we got the top off now, some plastic bits. It really does like have that fleshy color. I'm like covered in like foam, but I'm just gonna clean it up a bit on the edges here. <sighs> yeah, I'm glad I did this outside. Um, <laughs> but you can see like we can put it back properly every time. I'm just trying to get a lot of the big like rough bits off and once they're off I think it should be fine <sighs> all right just kind of so once that's open now I guess we can tape on the template for this for the Rex here he recently passed away so we're gonna do a tribute to him on said pumpkin uh, should be a lot of fun um, so I just need to make sure I have it like positioned the way I'd want it. I think that should be fine to start like tracing it. And they have this kind of puncture tracing tool. So I'm gonna see if it works. Okay, I see what it does now. My focus is insane right now. Okay, that should be fine. I'm gonna start carving her out with the still on, I think. Starting on the top.
a lot of particles to like get through. I wonder if I take off the paper from there. Oh my god. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Okay, nearly there. I just need to carve the eyes out and then uh, she'll be done. I think that's the finished product right there. This is, uh, there's Rex. Now we need to go inside and see it uh, lit up, I guess, because it's too bright out here. So I'll see you over there. All right, and we're back inside the studio with basically the finished product. You can kind of see his nose here. We'll fix that later. But um, the majority of the work is done. So the only thing I have to do now, I just kind of want to see it with um, the lantern inside. So uh, we have a LED pumpkin light, so you know, so it's not setting anything on fire. So let's turn that on. Set that in there. Put the lid back on. And you can kind of see it. Let's see it with the lights off. It's probably better that way. And would you look at that? Not too bad. Just gotta fix that nose. Put him back here now. Pretty cool. So we got we got Rex back there keeping watch over the set now. Uh, I think the set's basically complete with the pumpkin. And the best way to celebrate after carving an artificial pumpkin is a very real pumpkin pie. So, with that being said, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and like the video. Um, if you really loved what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, with that being said, thanks for tuning in. And uh, there should be more videos over here for you to enjoy. Have a good one. Mmm.